Hi, I'm Taylor Gurken with Peghead Nation, and today I'm here with another guitar that's part of Taylor's 50th anniversary lineup of uh, limited edition guitars. The guitar I've got here today is the 614 CE LTD, uh, and as you can tell, it's a really unique and stunning looking instrument with a transparent white finish throughout. Um, I'm not sure I've seen another Taylor just like this in the past, and uh, it's just really cool to kind of see them stretching out on these 50th anniversary guitars a little bit. Underneath the transparent white finish, it's of course a maple and spruce instrument, as 600 series guitars have, I think, pretty much always been. Uh, certainly, most commonly, they're thought of as uh, maple instruments. And uh, Taylor's had some uh, variation within those instruments over the years. Uh, maple has been part of uh, the woods that Taylor has used since the very beginning. Um, and uh, when I first started becoming aware of Taylor guitars in the mid 90s, uh, they had a sort of amber colored uh, maple back and side, sometimes paired with a three piece back. Uh, really cool and unique looking instruments. More recently, Taylor sort of revoiced some of the 600s and uh, they had sort of a dark stain on their, uh, their back and sides. Uh, there have also been some Builders Edition 600 series guitars. Um, and uh, there have always been instruments that have been sort of uh, tonally neutral, if you want to call it that, in a way that uh, they can really respond to a player's own touch and uh, tonality. There have also been excellent stage guitars, uh, because maple tends to have sort of a forgiving quality when it comes to amplification, um, and uh, just tends to be uh, super balanced sounding. It's uh, also evident in this guitar, and uh, particular in this grand auditorium body shape. It's uh, just been a super successful and popular uh, variation of the standard Taylor uh, body style. So in the case of this guitar, we have a big leaf maple back and sides, and um, the finish is of course white, but uh, it is transparent enough to really show the uh, figure on the wood, uh, beautifully flamed maple on there, and it's a, it's a white with an edge burst that is really interesting, I think, um, and um, really showcases the wood, and you would see that even the neck is finished white, that's not always a given on a... Uh, on an on a instrument in the color that the neck also featured that, so the neck and the peg head, uh, which was these gold tuners that really pop nicely with the, uh, with the white finish. The neck is also maple, hard rock maple on this. Um, over the years, 600 series have sometimes had mahogany necks. More recently, they've had maple necks, and uh, the maple necks are a little bit stiffer than the uh, mahogany necks, in my opinion, um, and uh, just really um, uh, make a great match for the maple back and sides. For the top, uh, Taylor chose a Sitka spruce top on this. Um, again, you can despite the white finish, uh, really see the wood grain coming through there, um, especially more in the uh, center of the, of the top, um, uh, where the finish is a little bit more transparent because of the edge burst. Beautiful uh, top 600 series guitars reside fairly high in the Taylor line, so they get um, uh, some of the higher quality woods that Taylor has available. Other stylistic uh, elements of this guitar, we have uh, tortoise shell style binding. I think it pops really nice with the white, um, of course, black and white purfling on the center. And uh, green abalone is used for the rosette, sort of a white single ring of abalone, as well as for the traditional uh, 600 series wing uh, position markers in the fingerboard. And the fingerboard is of uh, Taylor's Quillicam uh, Ebony, which is also used for the bridge of the guitar. Um, so overall, a guitar that uh, really the most striking part of its appearance, of course, is the white finish. The rest of the appointments are fairly standard within the 600 series and not overdone. I think uh, that's a wise choice. It would have been easy to kind of overdo the visual stimulation uh, on, on an instrument that already sort of pops from its uh, white appearance like this. So as I mentioned earlier, the guitar is essentially a 614 CE with a different finish. So it doesn't stray too far from the uh, fundamental construction of these guitars. Um, maple back and side spruce top, of course, uh, V-class bracing on the inside. Um, we have the ES2 electronics, and I'll show you what those sound like um, uh, at the end of this clip. And um, just has that great balance that uh, maple tailors have always had. Uh, really nice to play. There's no sign of sort of muddiness, even if I'm playing big first position chord. Pop 
pops really nice, quite a bit of volume, and uh, really has a way of sort of uh, adapting itself to many different musical situations. I've always um, sort of had a soft spot for these Maple Taylors, and uh, seeing it in this kind of package is just a real lot of fun. I'm going to retune the guitar to dadgad tuning and uh, show you what it sounds like played finger style. Uh, Taylor Grand Auditoriums always have great versatility and uh, so let's see what it sounds like played like that. Okay, so I'm now tuned to dadgad and already uh, you can tell that with that low D note um, the guitar continues that great balance and but is also able to uh, produce those low notes quite well. So very fun to play that way. It's got a nice percussive quality, uh, but also a lot of detail if I was to play it a little softer. So it really has that maple tonal quality that, uh, that, that Taylor 600s um, have always been known for. And that uh, whole design has sort of really been refined in the last few years with uh, Andy Powers kind of taking a closer look at the uh, 600 series a, a few years ago and uh, perhaps broadening the tonal spectrum a little bit from uh, what they were like before. So this guitar definitely benefits from all that and it is a stunning looking instrument. Um, I should mention there's also a 50th anniversary label in this this guitar that makes it part of that limited edition series and uh, it's just a really cool look at um, what can be done with this maple uh, platform and giving it that transparent white finish really adds a unique touch so definitely check one of these out at uh, a Taylor dealer and if you're seeing this on YouTube uh, come on over to pegheadnation.com not just for our many gear demos but also our lessons uh, not just for guitars uh, but we have courses for many other stringed and fretted instruments and we uh, would love to see you there. My name is Taya Gurken. Let me show you what the guitar sounds like plugged through a Fishman amp and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.